Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So today I will be discussing about a very common problem of black screen on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now on my end, you can see my PC is on, but I can see the black screen on my monitor and I don't find any kind of cursor, but probably you may see the black screen with a cursor as well. So today in this video, I will be sharing few possible fixes that I would recommend you. You can try and I'm pretty sure by the end of this video, you will be definitely getting a solution. So the very first and the quickest solution that I would recommend you that I personally try all the time and it work for me is force shutting down the computer and restarting it back again. So I will press and hold the power button on my PC and once it gets shut down, I will press again and start the computer and let's see whether it comes or not. So boom, you can see that I can see the Asus logo and that indicate that the problem has been fixed. Now this might be a temporary solution, but yes, I would always recommend you that go with the simple uh, trick by forcefully shutting down the computer and restarting it back again. In case if you have the same issues on the laptop, you can also try the same. Press and hold the power button. Once shut down, you can restart again. Now in case if this method doesn't work for you, then what you have to do, you need to restart the graphic card drivers. So for that, from your keyboard, press Ctrl, Shift, Windows, along with the B key, B as in boy. And once you press all these four key all together, you will find that screen will blink. And that basically indicate that the graphic driver has been restarted. So this was the second solution that you can try. In case if this method also doesn't work for you. Next, what you have to do? Press Ctrl, Alt and the Delete key all together. And you may get this kind of blue or the black screen where it give you option of lock, switch user, sign out, task manager. And here only on the right hand corner, you will see the power icon as well. So what you need to do now from your keyboard, press and hold the shift key. And while holding, you need to click on this power icon. Click on restart and then click on restart anyway. So this will bring up your computer in the advanced options. Here you have to click on troubleshoot. Then click on advanced options. And here you will be getting many kind of troubleshooting tools. So the first one that I would recommend you that try to uninstall the update. So click on it and here it will show uninstall the latest quality update and uninstall the latest feature update. Now here you will have to spend some time. And that was the reason I shared the quickest way before. But in case if that doesn't work for you, you will have to try uninstalling the update because many time you may have this kind of black screen problem or many other because of the latest update that you have done. First, you can try uninstalling the feature update. You can click on it, follow the steps, check back again if this fixes the problem. If yes, then you are good to go. But if not, Again, you can come to the same page and try uninstalling the quality update. So this was the third solution that you can try. In case if this method also doesn't work, go back. In the advanced option only, you have to look for the startup setting. Click on it. Click on restart. And here you need to start the computer with safe mode with networking. So you can see on number five, it says enable safe mode with networking. So from my keyboard, I will press the F5 key and the computer will now be starting in the safe mode with networking. And if the computer boot properly in the safe mode and you can see the entire screen. So that basically indicate that there was some problem with the graphic driver. So what you can do, right click on the windows icon. From the suggestion, you have to choose device manager. Then you have to look for the display adapter and this will display your graphic card, whether you're using Nvidia, AMD or Intel. Whichever you are using, you need to look for it. Then you need to make a right click on it and choose uninstall device. Click on uninstall. Click on the windows icon again and just restart the computer. So this time when the computer gets restarted, it will automatically install the graphic card, the graphic driver on your computer. And the chances are that it will be fixing the black screen problem on your computer. All right. So on my end, you can see the issue has been resolved, but in case if you have tried all the solution properly and if nothing is working for you, then the final solution that I would recommend you is a very powerful solution that is the power flash. Now what exactly happened while using the computer? There remains a static charge on the motherboard 
and due to which many times you get black screen or the display doesn't work properly sometimes the wi-fi doesn't work properly so if you make a proper power flush it can quickly fix the problem related to the display audio or the wi-fi so if you are using a pc go ahead and shut down the computer once the computer has been shut down now you have to remove all kind of devices connected to your pc like any kind of external uh, ssd any kind of external hard drive any kind of printer usb drive the lan cable the power cord each and everything you have to remove once removed now you need to press and hold the power button on your computer for at least 30 seconds so press and hold the power button wait for 25 to 30 seconds doing so will be removing the all kind of a static charge on the motherboard now you can reconnect all kind of power cable lan cable the display adapter or any kind of media that you want to connect to and this time when you will start the computer you will find the issue has been resolved do the same with the laptop if you have the laptop then press and hold the power button to shut it down remove any kind of charger or any kind of devices connected to it then press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds again you can connect the charger and turn on the computer so these were the best and the possible fixes that i would recommend you you can try and i'm pretty sure you will be getting the solution please let me know in the comment box that which method work for you and if you got the solution guys then please make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye